The wait is finally over for our annual trip. The 2020 Rogue Expedition is here. What is up? I am Overland Dan, your unofficial, official tour guide for the 2020 Nissan Rogue Winter Expedition. And we are here at Four Corners, the start. Uh, we are actually starting at 1052, so I have to wrap this up here in about five minutes because if I'm late, uh, they slit my throat and throw me in the back. So anyways, uh, I'm ready for this trip. It's a rad trip. It's an amazing trip. I have my CB radio, of course. I have my rape whistle. Uh, I have my overland uh, check mirror so I can check, make sure all my overland gear is properly secured and maintained. I have a glow stick down here which is very important in case I get lost, which is a good chance because sometimes they uh, tend to wander off at night into, uh, into oblivion. I have uh, binoculars so that we can find uh, everybody's dogs that are uh, on leash. Uh, and I also have my uh, emergency blanket. So this trip is already gonna go uh, really smoothly because I've uh, prepared fully for this trip. On this year's expedition, we are exploring the sandstone laid landscape of Northeast Arizona and Southern Utah. From the rendezvous point, we take a short drive to our first trail, Comb Ridge. This unique trail offers travelers an opportunity to experience Anasazi ruins and the remnants of an Old West trading post. Be sure to always remember to leave places like this undisturbed for future generations to enjoy. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to help get this video out to like-minded off-road enthusiasts like yourself. Up next is the Valley of the Gods. These imposing rock formations are the definition of resilience as they battle the elements. In our final miles of travel for the day, we all start to yearn for what has become a staple of these expeditions, the potluck dinner. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, I'm going to have to do some meatballs. I haven't got one. I think I put too much of that. Sweets. So day one is in the books. We had a fantastic time. It is a great group, super diverse set of rigs, drivers from all different levels and backgrounds. Uh, we're having a really fantastic time. Hit a fun trail today, checked out Valley of the Gods Road. It is beautiful out there. And now we have this fantastic campsite, uh, Monument Valley in the background. That's where we'll be heading tomorrow. And uh, yeah, good day one. Yeah. Mike, oh, yeah. 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 After a chilly night under the stars, we pack up the rigs and make our way to the trailhead of Johns Canyon. Seeing the petroglyphs along the wall is a glimpse into the past, but driving along the base of thousand foot cliffs gives perspective as to how we are just a grain of sand in a massive desert. Adventure fuels our souls, but lunch breaks are still necessary, so we find a nice spot with a view of Mexican hat. Okay, so I'm noticing you guys have these cool little black Toyota shirts. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I think everybody needs to know. Tell us a story about how this beast became to became known as the little black Toyota. So uh, we were running, we were running a trail out in Logandale. And uh, 
at rock bottom i think it was and there's a gatekeeper on rock bottom it's a real curvy like it's a pretty gnarly uh entrance into the trail and uh we were in line to go and i honestly was thinking about going around it but a bunch of guys went and there was a dude standing one of the jeep guys was standing up on top of the mountain looking down into the canyon and he goes that little black toyota back there is not going to go through this is it and i was like well i am now so we went through it and from uh from there on it was known as little black toyota <laughs> Day two, we are in Monument Valley in the Navajo Nation here, and we are in our campground for the night. It is really, really red. We are on private property, actually. We have special permission to come here. These are Hogan's, which is some Navajo thing. Let me, they, they kind of explained it a little bit to us, but let me just show you inside one of them. Okay. Her and there's actually like some oh gosh, that's so cool. I wonder how this is in the summertime, just temperature wise. When it's she doesn't up. say it's cool. Really? Yeah. I bet. Pretty dark and insulated. Probably. Yeah. 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 The yeah. From the yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 With special permission from the landowner and proper permitting, we enjoy an amazing campsite and traditional Navajo taco dinner. Once you have your pieces, go ahead and smother your chili beans on there. Oh, yes. uh, I don't know how much uh, chili beans phenomenal. Are. And then from there on, use uh, these utensils to put your uh, lettuce, tomato. Yes. Uh, 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 Perfect. What are you after dinner, another staple of the ROA Expeditions begins, the raffle. We would like to thank our supporting companies for helping get great products into the hands of our trip participants. We would like to thank Niztec, Nefarious Customs, CVT Tents, Goose Gear, Toy Tech, Shift Pod, Step 22, Dead Man Off-Road, Yakima, Timbo Tusk, Perfect Bungie, Adventure Trailers, Action Tracks, Backstrap Industries, Tread Magazine, Arizona Xterra Club, and Nissan Nation Podcast. We can't thank you guys enough for helping us out. And be sure to support those companies that support us. She's like, that was like, oh. Nice. Yeah. Paid off. And then we had dinner, and then I was going to drive her to the other side to show her the mountains. Reluctantly, we loaded up and left this amazing campsite. We're just putting down some road miles, getting out to Page, Arizona. About to go do a really awesome tour of a slot canyon, horseshoe bend, and see a Navajo hoop dance demonstration. Uh, we are a, uh, the only tour operator in Page, Arizona that offers both uh, Secret Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend in one tour. Our tours leave here from Page, they're about three hours long, do both locations. Uh, we're a native Navajo owned tour company. Most of our tour guides are native Navajo, which share their history and culture of the land and the beautiful scenery here uh, on the Navajo Nation. So we invite you to come experience an epic tour. The biggest difference with our tour over other tours in the area is that uh, we, by design, limit the number of people we put out into the slot canyon. So 
any given time we have a very small group typically less than 12 but no more than 25 people at a time so you get more photographs better quality photographs you're not rushed and you can really enjoy the experience with your family and take home some awesome photos of uh, one of the most beautiful places in northern arizona Nick, what do you think about this? I think it's amazing. And I think it's really amazing that we have like 28 people in onesies in this slot canyon. I think this is a, this is a first time. I think, I think you're right. It's the only way to do Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend Slot Canyon Tours. You get to ditch the crowds, have some space to yourself. Check out that amazing view. Like any good adventure, sometimes things change, and Raiden made the road to our planned campsite impassable. So what does any off-road enthusiast do? Find a different place to stay. So we found a place to wheel and camp right on the beach. You ain't in Moab anymore, Toto. No, right. You gotta bump the front, get it. There it goes, there it goes, stay in it, 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 stay in it. Stay in it. Nice! The little goat marks his territory. Phantom blows in with his crawl control, spinning around the FJ. Beardo watches from the sidelines in awe and happiness as his two bestest of friends hoon their way into stardom. Rogue Overland, people, the funnest, most exciting place ever to be, ever. Ah! <laughs> A little bit of rain, temperature's not too bad. Campsite for the night. Lone Rock Campground.
that's one way to start a fire. Let's hope it, awesome. I hope it burns. Well done. Yes. With several days of travel behind us, stories from the adventure are shared around the campfire. Then someone had a great idea. Barracks Trail is a ton of fun if you like water crossings. <laughs> if you don't like water crossings, then it's not a big deal at all. Talk to me in Kanab and I'll set you up with how you bypass the trail and where you'll meet us at, okay? So it's very, very easy to bypass if water crossings are not your thing. But they're not bad water crossings. They're, I think, the deepest one we hit. We ran it last week. It may have been off of the slider, but it did rain yesterday too. Most of the time you're up deep at that. Yeah. What if you're on 28s? You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Marco, have you replaced Look, your seal? Talk to Nick about the bypass. Bro. Bring an oar. Have you played the Oregon Trail? <laughs> <laughs> Just please don't die of dysentery. Uh, Dude, I swear this is the slowest mile ever. Call it 250, 250. Hey Mike, we're getting ready to run the barracks trail. What are you airing down to? I think I'm gonna drop these things down to 10 today. I've got the I've got the method wheels with the B grip technology on them. So I'm really not too worried about dropping these things out. And I think uh they gonna be a lot of grip in the snow today too, so pretty awesome. Very nice. The Barracks Trail offers us an uncommon contrast in the southwest, snow wheeling in the morning and water crossings in the afternoon. Yeah, you pulled out of it at the right time. Who can resist a snowball ambush? I'm just telling you what, what I call it. I don't have a problem. Press it. Alright, I'm on. That looks amazing. Did you want a bowl? I mean, if you're if you're giving bowls, you need a bowl too. Is that what you're saying? I can get I can get a, a we'll get one receptacle. Oh, please, please. With our appetite satisfied, we continued down the trail. Videos never do obstacles justice, and neither does the massive amount of travel in the nefarious Fab Tundra. Good. No, it's fine, man. You're good. 
finally, we are at the much anticipated water crossings. All right, I'm gonna uh, wait to keep the spot up here for you. We truly enjoy seeing how different drivers and different styles of rigs tackle the same obstacles on the trail. After the last water crossing, we are off to camp for the night. It's a little cold last night. Actually, a little cold right now still. As you can see here, this is all iced over. Everything's basically frozen to, to all frozenness. After a very cold morning in camp, we cut through Zion on our way to the last trail of the expedition, Tokerville Falls. At this point in the trip, the vehicles are covered in dust and mud, a badge of honor telling the story of this amazing adventure. Whoa, right there, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, a little bit. It's about to come back down. Alright, we got a truck high centered using the bubble rope soft shackles attached to the dead man earth anchor. We're just gonna pull him back off of the rock. The places we see are a great part of the adventure, but the people we share these trips with are the best part. For your chance to join one of these trips, keep an eye on our website at rogueoverland.com and our Instagram at rogueoverland. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to help get this video out to like-minded off-road enthusiasts like yourself. We'll see you out on the trail. Size.
They are dog size, yes. They still cost us four hundred dollars a piece, by the way. New news in the Overland community. New news in the Overland community. CBT is no longer a sponsor of the road trip. By the way, it's that big fancy truck, and now nothing. Nothing. Mike, Sean, you guys got anything? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks Thank for uh, so flexing thanks along for with it. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, uh, definitely thanks leaders. for flexing with the changes. Yeah, big big thank you. Uh, running a group this large, stuff happens. We got to make shifts, shuck and jive, so to speak. So uh, thanks for going with it, going with it with smiles. Something I meant to talk about on the first day, but just so you guys know, you're the first ones to know. Uh, we're going to, from now on, all our trips are going to be called the Rogue Overland Expedition. We're not doing a summer or a winter trip anymore. And we'll do one a year for sure. Sometimes we might do a second. Uh, and it's going to be based on wherever we want to go, the best time of year to go there. Weather-wise. Weather-wise, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So thank you for toughing this one out. Uh, but, uh, but most likely going forward, we'll be chasing relatively fair weather for these trips. Good luck at the car wash. <laughs> hey, hey, I know hey. we all have about five or six Bobby's times. got some things to say, oh, too. Oh, sorry. No, so many things. That's oh. weird. First of all, I just I, I just want to say thank you. It was great meeting you all and having the wives out, too. I appreciate it. I appreciate my wife coming, especially, too. I know yeah. it's, this is her first time also, too. But thanks, Rose, for an awesome job. You know, weather may not always be perfect, but it's memories no matter what. And so a big shout-out to you guys and everyone that came, man. I appreciate meeting you all, really, truly. Yeah. Awesome. Look forward to the next one. Is this right here? It looks like you have chest hair that's fucking Bobby. Is this sticking out? Hey, good beating you too, man. What do you say, Bobby? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So it's a. Oh, no, it's good. So you won't notice. I think you will interview. Workout trades. I don't even need trades. RJ, if I can.